Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is set mismatch. You have a set of integers s, which originally contains all the numbers from 1 to n. Unfortunately, due to some error, one of the numbers in s got duplicated to another number in the set, which results in a repetition of one number and a loss of one number. So that makes sense. You are given an integer array nums. Now return to us the number that occurs twice and the number that is missing. So say that we had this array here, we can see that 2 is the one that repeats and 3 is going to be the value that's missing. So we'll return a list of 2, 3. All right, so if space wasn't a problem, we could easily solve this in O of n time. What we would do is create a lookup or a hash map and just look, iterate through the range of 1 through n. And if the value does not exist in our hash, that means it's missing. And if the count of the value is greater than 1, that means it's repeating. Right, so that's pretty easy. Let's start off with that. Uh, we'll create a lookup, and this will be a counter object of nums. I'll also initialize n to be length of nums. Now for i in range of i or 1 to n plus 1, we have two conditions. If i not in lookup, that means it's missing. Right, so missing equals i, and if i lookup i is greater than 1, that means it's repeating. And finally, we just return to uh, an array of the repeating and the missing. So this would be O of n time, and we use O of n space because of this counter object. Now, if we just submit that, and that does the work, let's go ahead and submit it. There you go, so that's accepted. But that's a little straightforward, right? Could we do better than that? Mm. So if we wanted to avoid using this extra memory and try to use constant space, uh, what could we calculate to figure out our numbers? Well, this part gets a little bit complicated, but bear with me. If we had an array like this, we need to take advantage of the fact that we know everything is between 1 through n. Uh, so we know what the actual array that we want is. It looks something like this, right? Now, take a look at if we subtracted the sum of this number of the actual array and the expected array, we would get the difference between the number of repeating numbers or the number that's repeating and the number that's missing, right? Here we can see everything else cancels out except this 2 minus 3. So this equation, it's something like if we subtract the sum of this and some of that, we would get the difference between the repeat and the, the missing number here. So what that means is we have an equation sum of the actual subtracted by sum of the expected would equal repeating minus missing. So now we have a mathematical formula. But this isn't enough because we there's very we can have a lot of answers for this. We need some sort of other equation to to calculate what repeat and missing is. So what about if we got the product? Well if we got the product of everything um, we can't subtract it but we can divide it because everything else would cancel out except the repeating and missing, right? So that in the same way would be like product act. If we divide it by, by the product of the expected, this would be repeating divided by missing. So now we have an equation that we can use. Um, let's see here. If we were to kind of use some math, we can first calculate what missing is here, and that would equal, let's see, this. Uh, actually, it'd be easier to get the repeat first. Repeat and multiply that by missing, right? Now we could put this in here, and what would that give us? Well, let's calculate it. Be some of x. Get this minus one. Uh, then I think what we could do here is um, uh, we could multiply this by one or something like that. Let's see. So product. I think, yeah, well, since we can divide miss by both and what that ends up becoming is something like this, actually. Something like this. All right, and now that we have this, we could easily calculate our missing uh, by just dividing this right here. Like that. 
All right, so now we have this equation. So let's first calculate all these sums first. All right, I forgot to do that. We no longer need this. Let's get what sum actual, which is going to be the sum of the nums. Now the sum of the expected is going to be sum. We don't have the array. So what we'll do is just create one i or i in range of 1 through n plus 1. And we'll also do the product. Let me cheat a little here and use the reduce. You could write a function if you like. Um, but I just, I'm going to use the function like that. And the prod of the expected. Go reduce, multiply uh, this array here. Okay, so now we have the values we need. This is all O of n, but it's all constant space, right? Because these are single integers. So now we just we want to find what missing is. We'll get this equation. Let's make sure I got this right. Uh, and I think we need a rounded. And the repeat, well, well, since we have missing now, it's pretty easy to calculate repeat. We just get, what, this. And we add missing. So let me see if this works. Gosh, I'm not totally sure if I got that. Let's see. All right, so it looks like it's working. Let's submit it. And there we go, accepted. So this is still old then because of all these calculations. In fact, you can argue it's slower, but we do use constant space. Um, and it's pretty clever because we can use math. Now, there's some formulas you can, you can use to get the sum of the expected and, and the product of the expected as well. But didn't really want to go into that. It seems a little complicated. So yeah, that's it. I honestly think the first solution is fine. Like, But if you're interested in this mathematical stuff, I say take a look. Alright, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.